Hello, hello everybody. It's Angie. How's everyone doing today? We are going to continue on our um, Tim Holtz tags. These are the couple that we did yesterday. So I'm going to put those off to the side and try to get at least two more done again today. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. I would like to share something with you. I uh, pulled these out yesterday. These little photo booth um, pictures. And um, I thought we would play with a couple of these today. So I got to rummaging through my supplies. And I remembered I had some uh, little uh, tear apart um, frames. And this is what I remember having. This little booklet here of some little kind of like die cut, so to speak, um, but you just tear them out, little frames. But all the small ones have been used. I guess I've, I don't even remember using them, but I guess I used most of the small ones at some point. So I found this one that was left, and it's a little bit too small for these um, pictures. I mean, I could still get away with it. I'd have to cut away a lot of the image, you know, the out part of the image, but I could get away with it so to speak, if I wanted to, but it got me to thinking. So I put that aside and I pulled out one of these big ones and I was like, you know, I like to take on a challenge from time to time. So I uh, thought how I can cut this down to make me a um, frame that I needed. So I started with just a piece of uh, card, um, lightweight chipboard. And I just cut a piece of square out the size of the image so I knew how big I needed my frame to be. And then I just got to cutting on one of these larger paper frames. And here's what I came up with. How about that, huh? Really, you can't even tell that it was put together until you flip it over. Ah. And I just put it together with some washi tape. And that's the size of our image. And it fits much better. Okay. So then that got me to thinking. Hmm. So then I just totally switched gears. And um, I know I wanted him, you know, our, our um, tags to be Tim Holtz today. So then I said, well, let's just pull out some images and see what we come up with. Because I remember in this package, there were some um, photo images as well. So I was like, before I open that up, maybe I can use up some of these. And I do remember, yeah, here's one. There's a frame. And I thought there was, there's one. And I thought there was a couple more. I mean, we only need a couple of them, but. Okay, well, let's start there. Um, so, okay. So I thought we'd try and use up some of this stuff before I start opening another pack. So, and this is like a little, it just says, Daisy photos. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with some of the um, um, salvage tag pieces from uh, Tim Holtz. So I thought we'd use that. And let's see if one of these pictures will fit in here. We still kind of run into the same problem, don't we? Um, unless... That fits. That one's too small. Hmm. Okay, now I've got a decision to make, huh? Let's see. Lose a little bit of the car on that one. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to kind of think a little bit. And is that too wide? That's clearly that's too wide for the tag anyway. Unless I do it in portrait mode, which those 
Okay, so that takes away that idea, doesn't it? Um, so, what do I want to do? Hmm. Well, darn it. I guess I didn't think this through enough before I turned the camera on, guys. Sorry, I'm after really kind of kind of puzzled here as to what I want to do. Hmm. I've got some color to it. Decisions, decisions. Okay, well, we're definitely going to need a base. So I think I'm going to go to my tried and true and start with a little bit of book page. So let's start there and see what we end up with. like a little bit of the numbers to stand out just so you can know that it was a, a um, what do I want to say, a multiplication card. So we'll try not to cover all of the numbers up. We'll see how it goes. Just put a little vintage photo on here. in my blue book here. And we're just going to go right down across the inside of it a little bit. At a, off center a little bit. Okay. That's a start. I think I have two tags here. Oh no, okay, that's just my cardstock in the back, my um, book page that I backed it with. Okay, so there we go. All right, now um, I kind of like the idea of using this. I guess I could get away with using this photo. Okay, we'll trim that down. Just gonna kind of do a rough cut there. But I don't like that. I'm gonna try to clean that up just a little bit. I've got a finger blade here and we're going to try to just clean that edge up to open up that frame window a little bit just give a little bit more space see how that works let me just take a little bit of that out. Oh yeah, that's much better. Let's 
see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of sepia tone, kind of a neutral tone there. So yeah, I like that. So let's go with that. And I'm going to bring in some glue here. I'm going to glue that down. Just need a little bit. I don't want it oozing onto my photo part. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, kind of winging it here. Let's see. Okay, so if we put that down there. I have to get these other pieces out of the way or it throws me my thought process off, especially when I'm not sure what I want to do. Okay. Um, this is about the only one that has some color that I like. Maybe if I put that down at an angle. It's down now, so we got to go with it. Okay. Okay. Cut off the hangover. Okay. All right. And then if we put this, I feel like it needs a little something though. So let's add a little, a little vintage photo. side of the frame too but it's too late now that's okay we can get by without it okay maybe that there um, Mind that too, bitch. Okay, let's do that. I'll tell you, everything with our crafting is such. We put such um, I mean we put thought into it at all times but we we sometimes I think we overthink it and um, if we just kind of go with our initial thought um, and not overthink it so much that we'll be just as pleased as you know our outcome when we get done with it but sometimes we tend to just overthink it so much to where we are constantly questioning ourselves and I don't know I don't know if you guys know what I mean it just I think sometimes we should just be a little lighthearted on ourselves a little take it easy on ourselves I guess you would say a little bit and not uh, not so hard on ourselves okay so I've got like maybe that is um, makes me think of like a carnival or something so maybe we could put like a ticket Oops, that. Um, then we got a little red in there so mm. Bit 
more red into that. Maybe put it like, maybe something like that. What do you think? You get five tickets for the price to get into the admission to see see the tiger show and uh, maybe get your picture taken in a photo booth. I don't know. Okay, maybe you can put that there. I don't want to put too much ink so it's just going to look all smudgy all over so I just I think it feels like it needs a little bit of something hmm. I'm gonna go with that okay Okay, and I still got to figure out what I'm going to put on the for a tag topper as well on these. I'll do those last though. Do that last. Okay, get a little bit more glue in that corner there. It's trying to come up on me. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Not bad. I feel like it's needs something though. I don't know what. Maybe just a tag topper. Okay, well we're gonna call that one. And let's do another one. Um Do I want to use that one? Or do I want to... I had another one, didn't I? In here somewhere. That I, that I wanted to try to use. Come on, guys. Where is it? What do I do with it? Oh, there's one, too. Okay, I just had two little frames. What did I do with it? Well, maybe I can just go with this one then. Oops. Maybe we could just use that one. Okay, I definitely want to do a base again. So we'll just use this other piece of book page. that down that out of the way okay and we'll put this a little bit further over because I covered up all the numbers on that and I said I was going to try and leave some of those exposed and I end up covering them anyway sticks over and that's too big also hmm dilemma 
Let's see how this one looks. Oh, that one fits. Okay, I'll have to trim that down a little bit. Let's use this one. Off too much. No. Okay. And then I want to cut off their feet. So we'll go there. And right above her hat. A little bit more off the bottom. So you don't want it hanging over through the little bits and pieces. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with that. So let's get that down. So yeah, I think I'll cut out some more of these, um, these frames and maybe on the next video we can use some of those photo booth tickets for those old and pictures. That'll be fun. Yeah, that looks good there. And then maybe, um, hmm. I'm covering up the numbers again, aren't I? <laughs> okay, well, sometimes it's just like that, isn't it? What if I... I like that up toward the top, so I think we'll definitely leave that there. I have some crochet trim here. Maybe we can I like that. I think I'm going to put some of that trim there. Let me grab my book here. I'm trying to keep my mat halfway decent for a little bit. I'm so bad on mats. So now that I'm filming more, I'm trying to be more conscientious of just how bad it actually looks for you guys. So I know that other one was just a mess for a really long time. there and then bring my framed photo back in okay I like that need something down below though and I just don't see any of this really working oh this I just looked at this this says report card and maybe they're coming from school and they just had the parent teacher day and um, got his report card and he got a good grade so they're going out to lunch and he gets to go to his favorite store and pick a toy what do you think of that Maybe angle it. I think I definitely want that. Now that I see that it's a report card, I definitely want to use it. Okay, I'm going to ink it up a bit. Okay, so we're going to put that down. And we'll kind of angle that. Okay, I'll put this down. I'm just going to dab the glue here and there around the 
framed part. There we go. Hopefully just enough to get it to catch on the corners and so forth. Okay, kind of center that. Okay. And maybe a flower or something, huh? What do you think? I have some flowers here somewhere. These ones might be kind of big. These ones are a little smaller, so let's try these. I like that. Kind of fill in that break in between the portrait and the ephemera piece. Kind of angle that down a little. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then once we put our tag topper on there, I don't think that's too bad. And we've got to ink it up a little bit. for journaling space on the back. Um, let me see if I have a piece of copy dyed paper close by. We can just do a rough tear of that. And let's see right about there. I want to take off this um, straight edge here. I'm going to try and tear it somewhat straight. Okay, let's see how long of a piece we need. A little bit more. Okay, right about there. Okay, we can just Put this right down on there for journaling. Put a little bit of ink. And then we ink that up. down and we just have to do the other ones the same way so there's a journaling space for the other ones and there we go now we've got to draw a pretty tag and we'll clip this off there we go yeah we need a little more that white Take a little bit away from that white space there. There we go. A little bit better. Yeah. All right. I like that. So let me move some of this out of your way so we can get a better view. Oops. Let's keep that. Of um, what we did here. We'll call that one a wrap for today. We got two more done. Not much, but... Progress is progress, right? 
And fun is fun. You can't put a time limit on your fun. As long as it's bringing you joy and you're getting your crafting done. So, alrighty, guys, there we go. So we're down, we got four down and four to go. Maybe we can knock out the other four on the next video because I want to get to playing on some of these other um, elements as well. We'll see how it goes. But um, I hope you like the projects. I hope you like the tags. Have some fun. Pull out. They don't have to be um, Tim Holtz. They could be any elements that you have. Just pull them out and just start playing them, laying them down and, and moving them around and, and see what catches your eye and see what looks good and, and just have some fun with it. Don't think too much, too hard about it. Just make the pressure easy for you, okay? And just have fun, okay? Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.